don't have anything funny to say, dude. <laughs> oh, man. What's up, guys? This is Brian. Jesse. You're watching MMA the Hard Way in the car. Wow. Woo! 154. We got a UFC 154 recap today. Man, oh man, it finally happened. We got to see a lot of things. Yeah. I mean, before we get there, you know, I thought we'd just start at the bottom and uh, Siler Elkins and just work our way up. Yeah, we could, you know, bring up some stuff that, that pans out. Uh, yep. We could start off, uh, well, Rodrigo Dam and Carl, they call that the, the kick fest. <laughs> uh, yeah. Brutal, brutal kicks. Uh, you see Rodrigo's... Uh, his uh, left knee, yeah. just brutal. Remind me of uh, yeah. what Jose Aldo did with uh, Gosh, to uh, uh, Uriah Faber. And uh, Jose Aldo was there. Uh, you know, uh, he, he was there on uh, cornering a, a couple people. Mm -hmm. um, Sam Stout, you know, unanimous decision. Uh, he lost, but uh, it was a it was a good fight. His striking has gotten a lot better, but that jab, that jab, McDessie's jab, just basically just yeah. kept him away from you know from closing the distance. From coming in, isn't uh, Macdessy? He's one of the TriStar guys. Yeah, he yeah. is one of the TriStar guys. Uh, I think one of the things uh, I saw is, I think uh, TriStar had four guys on that car. Yeah, and three out of four won. Yeah, yeah. The the striking is just there. Bocek, I think the only one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. You want to. I was thinking about, uh, you know, the one thing that stuck out is, of course, uh, Patrick Ote, you know, his uh, the hammer fisting in the back by Sakara. You know, that's that's a rematch that's going to be coming up pretty mm -hmm. soon. You know that. Um, and, of course, you know, we go up to, you know, Hominick Garza. Uh, Hominick, like you said, he probably, you know, probably going to get cut. Uh, yeah. uh, striking got a lot better, so, but it's Probably, just, I would say, within the next couple of weeks, they'll probably announce that he's been released. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's nothing, you know, hey, you know, that he's, he'll, he'll be picked up. Yeah. No, yeah. he'll be picked up or he might just take some time to do some local stuff and then, you know, maybe come back. Uh, Dos Anjos and uh, Bosek, of course, what you said, uh, you know, uh, really good striking on both sides, you know, but it was a, you know, unanimous decision. Uh, then we start going up to the other cars, you know, Carmont and Lawler. You know, that was a really, really good fight. Well, you know, I think... Um uh, Francis Carmont, it's like we said, yeah. you know, he's a, a TriStar guy. Mm -hmm. He's very athletic. He's yeah. got 185 pound GSP. Lean. I mean, lean. Uh, you know, lean. and I thought that, you know, there was only what? There were only three finishes on the entire card. Mm -hmm. And most of the, uh, other than the people that actually finished fights, yeah. most of the decisions went to either someone that was just technically superior mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, in terms of being able to land more power shots mm -hmm. or land, uh, control mm -hmm. the, the octagon with superior grappling, mm -hmm. or the guys that just had more strength and conditioning. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, who did we see? One of those guys, his strength and conditioning was just, uh, I, I, oh, I'm trying to remember, oh! Um, the Griggs fight. Yeah. Chad Griggs versus, uh, oh gosh. Uh, uh, oh, uh, Diabonte. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cyril, uh, Diabonte. I, yeah. I forgot how good, hey, what a veteran Diabonte is. And I didn't realize he had been going to Lloyd Irvin's uh, down there at Alliance and training his jits. If you've ever seen any of Lloyd Irwin's uh, videos, mm -hmm. dude, that place down there is enormous. It's huge. Oh my gosh, it's like half the size of a football field. Wow. I think they must have gotten some sort of industrial area there. Just that, cleared it out and, and just put mats. He has just got, I mean, uh, you can see if you could look at the, the uh, results from the uh, your traditional jiu-jitsu mm -hmm. competitions and mm -hmm. stuff, his... Uh, students are placing in the upper echelon uh, globally. I yeah, uh, I mean, 
when China, I saw that, it's just, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to that, interrupt. No, 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 no I, I agree with what you're saying, that he, just the technicality, yeah. that natural athleticism, I just I just came across. Yeah. Um, what do you, discipline yep. and technique, yep. you, you can't say enough about that. You know? it, it was, uh, his, his striking was really clean, very, uh, a snap, and, uh, you know, that, it all started with that one, uh, uh, that punch that he, that he got when he was coming in. And everything was pretty much downhill for 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 uh, uh, Greeks from that point on. Yeah, I mean he could have probably outdone him on his on his. Uh, on he his wanted speed, a brawl and he didn't get a brawl. He yeah. he got you know, uh, Diamante got in. He got you know technical, and yeah. uh, and that's where Chad just you know <laughs> couldn't. It no. was kind of funny because Chad Griggs was trying to turn it into yes. a brawl. He was like, "I got to get away. Yes. This guy's got a million inch lead, reach advantage." And on it me. just didn't happen. From if I'm yeah. not mistaken, I think they brought in Yaban, uh Dan Henderson brought him in to yeah. emulate Anderson Silva. Yeah, I remember them and saying that. And he does that. have that lanky, long, yeah. natural, natural athletic, uh, you know, body. Uh, then of course we have uh, you know uh, Carmon Lawler. We talked about him. Our uh, you know the split decision. Uh, I heard some boos on both sides of the aisle. You know it was a good fight, but I think they made the right decision on Carmon and Lawler. Yeah, I mean Lawler controlled him, but yeah, um, you, he wasn't you, doing you too can't much. Can't say enough for you have to you have to take into account yeah. aggression and octagon control. Mm -hmm. And he just landed more. He landed more damage. Yeah. You know? And then, uh, of course, let's get up to the uh, the money shot. Uh, Hendricks Catman. Uh, you know. You know, there's just uh, something about a guy that can just win so convincingly. Yeah. You know, it wasn't a lucky shot. No. It was a definitely a such. Hey, take a look at this. Yeah. Guess what? I'm so loaded up. My left foot you don't is see firmly it, yeah. planted on the yeah. mats, and here comes he my cannon. And you know what? He didn't Ooh. see it coming. And you oh. know the way. You know, I've seen when people, you know, when fighters get knocked out, and they have a certain way. It sounds sad, but a certain way of falling. Catman literally fell back like he was falling on a bed. It was as if he had been kicked in the chin. Yeah. Instead of, I mean, I mean, just there's nobody could have. Hands Junior extended, De Santos yep. would have gotten knocked out if he got hit like that. I, I mean, mean, and it, and, and and you know what? It was uh, just that the way he set it up. You know, Catman didn't see it coming. He did not see it coming. Um, yeah. And then, of course, uh, Condit and Saint Pierre that delivered. Man, you know, it, it's kind of what. Uh, I rem I think the person that got it that got it best was Boss. Mm -hmm. When Boss was saying breaking it down, he said, "Is Connick going to be able to get up mm -hmm. off of his back?" Because yeah. he knew that he'd be yeah. on his back. Yeah. And obviously, GSP probably uh, retained most. You know, he was in more control of the fight. That was, you know, a lot of it. What it came down to is superior wrestling. But I mean, also his. You know, he says. I learned how to come back from a severe strike uh, after uh, he lost to um, uh, Matt Serra. Mm -hmm. He he did some things, and he, in fact, I remember meeting him that first time uh, I met George St. Pierre. Uh, it was after the loss, mm -hmm. but he was already pegged to fight Hughes mm -hmm. in January, and then we figured that obviously if he beats Hughes, he'll he fight Sarah. Fight, yeah. And he was a, this was late fall before he was facing Hughes. And I said, George, I'm a huge fan. And, and I can't wait to see you beat both mats. And, and he, all he said to me was like, it was kind of robotic. He said, I made a mistake. It won't happen again. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, thank you very much. You know, and you could, tell, I was thinking, oh my God, it hadn't dawned on me. I was just saying whatever came to mind. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. But for him, that's probably he a took question it personal. he had been asked a million, million times. times. And but the thing is, is now that I'm now I'm understanding. Maybe there was some more truth to that, and the fact that specifically there was a mistake. Maybe not even just in how to keep from getting hit, but maybe very it has small. something to do with what. What do you do in your mind? Yes. You know, to say to yourself, okay, I'm in a dangerous position here. How do you, you know, like John Jones when he talks about. Um, 
he'll after a full workout he'll do laps mm -hmm. he says I'm practicing how to stay calm and not panic mm -hmm. and I was like wow you know and they the, mentioned it's all about controlling that heart rate the mental part of surviving a near knockout mm -hmm. interesting that well, is maybe what's safe to yeah. condense to uh, you know credit you know when he was on his back he was he was trying sub he was trying like every submission did imaginable the, yeah do you see the difference between when that moment that that a couple of times when george was on it back on his yeah. back man it, it was like second you yeah, were yeah. thinking oh man con is seconds away from yeah. a submission here yeah he was deadly when yeah. he was on top compared to gsp yeah gsp was pretty much like he was, okay, I he was try controlling to throw ground an elbow he, here yeah there. he was doing some damage but but you know, Condit kept GSP oh, guessing with those boy. submission attempts. I tell you, I don't think I think the story has not been completed. I think Condit will get another shot against GSP in the I, future. I think so too. And uh, I mean, you saw that kick that landed on the third round. GSP just fell back. And I mean, if you look at some of GSP's previous fights and you look at his face, this fight. Yeah. He was clearly beat up. His yeah. face was beat up. I mean, you see that huge hematoma he had going on yeah. the side of his head. I mean, I mean, it was a, it was a war. It was brutal. But you know what? Uh, GSP made a statement. He came back. He's back. His knees yeah. great. Bring rest. You know, we've got oh, GSP wow. 3.0. Mm -hmm. You know, it just seems like he's a, uh, you know, every time he's down, he comes back even stronger. Yeah. Uh, it was funny. Uh, Saturday night. Uh, it's pretty, pretty much everybody knows. Uh, Nick Diaz tweeted, yeah. I was not impressed with your performance. Yeah, George. I mean, what else can he say? I mean, what else can he say? The famous quote that Jordan said, you know. I, I mean, you know uh, what? The 170 landscape's going to get really interesting. Yeah. Now, we know we know uh, Catman's going to be out for a while. <clears throat> GSP's probably going to get, like you said, we were talking previously before filming, you know, he's probably going to be suspended for probably six months. Maybe, probably we get a medical suspension. Probably, med probably six months is the standard. I think Dana White knows he sees a so pain. that's me yeah. yeah yeah but you, you know you i think i think if bj penn makes a statement against war mcdonald or vice versa they're gonna pair the winner up against hendrix then the winner between those two i think is gonna go up against nick diaz for number one contendership i'm, yeah. I'm thinking I, I don't know what your yeah. thoughts are i i you know i i, I definitely I, think that uh I don't think we're two fights away from a contender. I think if they don't announce that he's the contender, mm -hmm. uh, then because we got we got. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure. I I believe I've already because they're not going to Roy. Even if if Roy McDonald knocks out or submits BJ in the first round, they're not going to give him a title shot against GSP. No, no, they're like brothers. Um, but, uh, but the thing is that the other thing that's going on is that you know you saw. The look on G GSP was kind of annoyed that he was asked many times, but in the back of his mind, he might have a potential super bout with uh, with Anderson Silva, mm -hmm. and Anderson Silva already kind of already kind of already left some crumbs for him to follow, saying, "Hey, I'll drop down to 180 to make it even easier for you." You know, it's a fight that people, I guess, they still want to see. I personally would rather see. You know, I'd rather see Silva Silva Jones. Jones. Yeah, yeah. I, that's what I'd rather see. But hey, you know what? To each, to each their own. But this card delivered from the top. Even though you had decisions, mm -hmm. it, it, you know, even the kick fest between Rodrigo Dam yeah. and. Oh, and the other thing to mention was Ivan Menchivar. Mm -hmm. uh, he pulled off. Yeah, I think, submission, uh, submission, submission of the night. night. He was the original opponent of George St. Pierre. When George St. Pierre made his debut, it was against Ivan Menchivar. Mm -hmm. and, I did not know that. I did yeah. not know that. And uh, he had been, he's a veteran, you know, and the fact that he's, I like seeing veterans pull off stuff that they are, are known mm -hmm, for, you mm -hmm, know, mm -hmm. that, was a, that was a good win. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the card delivered, I mean, I wish they would, uh, no disrespect towards Field, but I, I wish they would put much more of these fights on FX or something, because you know, all of these, it's, it's sad because some of these fights on Field are not seen as by as many people and some of these yeah. fights are really freaking good you yeah. know they're really good but i guess that's the marketing part that they want to get more people to watch feel or subscribe to feel but the yeah. car delivered i'm i was really to to end this i was really impressed with gsp 
Okay. I, 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 it just did not turn into a hump fest. He was yeah. busy. It he was, brought it. He was bringing it. Yeah. He was trying to finish. You could tell yeah. he was trying to finish. He wasn't playing the safe, the safe fighting mode. He was trying to finish, just like uh, you know Finch, the way he finished his last fight. Uh, yeah. You know, he didn't want to go for uh, a, a decision. He he wanted to finish because, you know, after a while, it, you know, you have to market yourself as an exciting fighter. You know, fighter. I'll tell you, though, I, you know, as much of a GSP fan as I am, the one thing I noticed about GSP was when he had Carlos up against the fence, he was landing strikes, but he would do the one, two, I'm going to take you down. Yeah. It's like, no, just keep hitting him. Just keep hitting yeah. It's like he doesn't have... I don't know if it's because he doesn't have confidence that I'm just going to knock you out right on your mm -hmm. feet. Because when's the last time he knocked someone out? It's, it's been a long time. It's been time, a long time. Dude. I don't remember the and last that's, time. I, I was like, don't do the takedown. It was like, it was almost like he's programmed. Boom, boom, take it down. Yeah. And I was like, he, what are he you does, doing? He does the it guy, quick, yeah. Condit was like, yeah. dude, don't hit me anymore. Oh, I got to take it down. Yeah, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't understand that too. I agree with you. I that's don't understand That's going to be that. his demise, I think. He, I think. I think if I was George and I wanted to say, okay, where can I improve? I would say, try to become a deadly striker. You don't have to worry about your wrestling. You're the best wrestler in he, MMA. He's got the tools. Yeah. He does have the strength. He has can the tools. Imagine if he was to just start just just some sick Muay Thai and just think of himself as like, no, I'm a striker. I'm going to do like what Mark Munoz did and turn myself you, into You know, it's striker. funny that you mentioned that. I don't think I've ever seen GSP try any anything Muay Thai. Plums People don't care about his striking. They don't. They just care about getting taken down because they know he's going to control. He's him. the takedown king. I mean, he, that's that's one thing he always done. And, and you're right. He had kind of on on skates a couple times, and he should have capitalized. You know, he did win he the fight, recover, but, but you know, yeah. yeah. I mean, you saw when uh, when he's uh, not feared as much as Anderson. Yeah, Silva well, is, like Condit know? when Condit hit. You know, kicked uh, GSP and brought him down. He jumped on him. He swarmed on him. He capitalized. Yeah, I was. I, mean, I was actually. Capitalized. I was actually more impressed with Condit than I was yeah. with GSP. I don't know. Hey, I think that's all the time yeah. we got. I just want to thank. We got a bunch of new Twitter followers and um, MMA Elite. Wow, very cool to see you. And um, I just want to get a, a thumbs up, heads up. Uh, if you want to check out Paul Blancanflor, he just won his second pro fight. This is a guy nice. I've been watching since he was amateur. He was the nice. first California amateur state champ. I covered him in, a, a, in an episode. And he, last Saturday, now he's 2-0. and Check him out. Check out Spirit Wolf MMA and follow him on Twitter, too. Big supporter. Huge, huge fan of Spirit Wolf. Thanks. And uh, remember, check out MMA the hard way. we got all sorts of late-breaking stuff. This is Brian. Jesse. See you next week. Thanks, guys.